Hey guys, it's Brianna with Crafting with Brie, and I'm here back with part two of the Cricut Flower Shop um, series. And today we're going to be working on, let's see, we did the basic one on page 12 on the first video. Now we're going to be working on the scallop one, sorry about that, on page 13. And I'm going to be using the Cricut Flower Shop. So let's get started. I did the same as on um, the last video, a three inch, a four inch, and a five inch flower. Now, this is what they look like. I did these in purple. There we are. This is the three inch, the four inch, and the five inch. And I think they came out really, really pretty. And I used Dusty Concord, the Distress Ink, on these. Okay. So let's start twirling these. And so you can see how I did those. Okay, let's start with a three inch. It looks like this when you cut it out. Um, I used a new mat and I did the whole, but it's still a little way sticky. So it kind of made my paper go a little bonkers. Like it's not all the way flat. It's kind of shaped, misshaped, but no worries. We're going to be using our quilling tool. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's. They're really inexpensive, so use your coupon. I'm just going to slide my quilling tool on the edge part. So drop the whole clue down and don't grab from the center because let me show y'all really quick. If you grab it from the center, um, that's what your flower will look like. Look at the just the orange part. And we're not going for that. We're going for this. Ooh, there. So do you see the orange and the purple? Those are supposed to be looking the same. So we're going to go for this one. <clears throat> so we're going to start at the outer part of the little snake swirl. So start at the end here, not in the middle. And we're going to put our quilling tool in there. I can see. Okay, we're just going to slide that in there. So then we have this. Wee, wee, wee. All right. The little piggy cried that all the way home. All right, so then we're going to roll. We're going to roll towards us. Like, tor I would roll towards me if I was this way, like towards y'all. I'd be rolling towards y'all. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to roll towards myself, and when I start, I do use my fingernail to round the first little circle, so it's like that. I don't want it to be like, whoosh. I kind of do it a tight, and I just kind of push it so it makes a, a round, it's not so squarish, and then I just roll, and I just keep on doing that, roll. On this one, I'm not going to use any glue, as on the first one I was gluing and rolling and gluing and rolling, and this one I'm going to show you just rolling. I just keep on rolling, keep on, and here with this hand, I'm just shaping it to a circle, so it's a circle flower and not so squarish. <clears throat> and then just kind of straighten that out, keep on rolling. Keep on rolling, roll, roll, roll. And this, it does get a little bit tricky on your hands. Sorry, I'm out of camera there. Um, because of the amount of paper rolled, it gets a little crazy. But we just kind of straighten it. And then this little end, we have this extra tab here. See this little, this at the very, this right here. That's where you're going to put your glue. So we're going to pull our flower off of our quilling tool very carefully, making sure to hold. I'm not flicking y'all off. Making hold, like making sure you're holding that center part. See this, where it's all quilled so it doesn't fall out. So then we're going to take it and we're going to just 
let it loose a little bit. Kind of move your fingers like this. And it's unrolling. So then I'm going to put some glue where the quill turn is, where it's all twisted. We're going to put a little glue here. All right. And then a little glue here. And we're going to lift that up and hold that down. And you are going to get glue on your fingers. It's going to get a little messy, but it's okay. I'm just going to hold that for a second <clears throat> because quick dry adhesive is only so quick. And <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. I hope y'all are having a good day. <laughs> All right. So then we have that. And from this, what I do is I just stick it on my table and I do, I push my little petals out. Out and out and out and out. Just make it bloom. Okay, and then it comes like that. And if you see anything in the back, like you can see my palm, like that's fine. What you can do is you can bend over the petals a little bit more so you don't see your hand. If you unrolled it just a little too much, it's fine. Like, we'll just make it work. Sorry, I'm like trying to see it over the thing. It's no biggie. We'll make it work. See, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that was the three inch. So let's do that again. You're going to look at your little snake here and you're going to go to the outside. Now, we're going to do this one with just freehand. I might have to use a little bit of glue here just so I don't um, let it go. So we're going to roll towards you, or roll towards me. Well, I'll roll towards me and you roll towards you. Ta-da! Okay, so we turn it a couple times. And it is possible without the quilling tools, guys. Just like I said in my last video, if, if you don't have, you know, extra for it right now or you'd rather spend your money on something else hey I totally get it I totally understand you know just just use your hands no big deal it's it's all right so I'm just twirling towards me and twirling 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 did any of y'all twirl in high school I had a baton <laughs> when I was younger it was one of those that had the water with the glitter, and let me tell you, I was not meant to be a twirler. I like threw it up in the air thinking, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do it. Nope. I was working, or I was practicing outside on our driveway, and it cracked, and I was like, oh, all right, this is maybe not for me. <laughs> so... I just think of like Miss Congeniality and she's the twirler and she's like, oh no, you know, I can't use, you know, the, the, twir the batons with the fire. Oh no. And she can't wear like red panties either or something. I'm sorry. So inappropriate. but <laughs> I think of Miss Congeniality. How funny. All right. So here we have this and it's all rolled towards me. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to release it a little bit. We're just going to let it kind of we're going to twist it twist it so it just grows twist the center you just kind of let it go like this so see it's twisting and then you're going to flip this back and you're going to add glue to where the ah! I don't know if y'all is that in the way sorry there and then on the Sorry. Right here. Do you see that? And then just put those together and hold that like that. <whistles> Birds sing, ring, ring. <laughs> All right. 
Have y'all seen anything good lately, movie-wise? I don't know. What's been out lately? Anything good? If y'all seen anything good, let me know. I'm always up for a good movie. Alright, so there. Now that's stuck. Now we have this. Okay? So then we're just going to put it on the table. And we're just going to push out all the little petals. Y'all know what movie that's from? All right, just let y'all know it's a Disney movie. <laughs> All right, so there we are. So then, that's the flower. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's do one more on the five inch. Here's our snake. Ooh, I do this a lot so y'all don't have to like keep on rewinding. So that's why I do it three times so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my quilling tool. And there is like a little, I, I tried to do it last time, but there is a, a space in there that you slip your paper through and with cardstock it is a little bit harder just because I'm sorry my hands are so dirty from all this um hold on a second from all the glue all right well I think we're gonna cut part of that hold on a sec couldn't get my quilling tool at the very end, so we're gonna cut that. All right, and just curve that. So if you can't, what you're gonna do, look at what I had to do. I just cut part of it, and then curve the edge. Um, it was just, it was ruining the paper, so. All right, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, you see how it's there? It's across, starting at the very end, not in the center. And we're just going to turn, turn, turn. And just kind of shape it as you go. Ooh, all right. Turn, 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 turn. turn. I'm going to try to keep this under 20 minutes, guys. We're at almost 13 now. So... I haven't even seen that movie in a while and that song's in my head. Okay, so here we are. Looks like that on the quilling tool. You're gonna, from here, pull it off gently if I can. Eee, there we are. All right, and from here, we have our little tag here. You're just gonna kinda turn your fingers and kinda let it, do you see that, how it's moving? Let it open, let it open. See how it's, how it's opening the center? All right, from here, we're going to put glue right here. See that? Just kind of fill it with some glue. And then right on this last little loop, the circle, just do a... Sorry about that shadow, guys. There. Okay? And you're going to put that and meet, and meet that. We're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it. Um. All right. So then we're going to just push that, make sure it's really nice and stuck. All right, so then we have that. And then once again, we're just gonna push all of the petals out. And take your finger and just kind of fold them over. I'm not very gentle, to be honest. I'm I'm putting pretty a, a good amount of pressure on this. All right, all right. So then we have that. 
And you can just kind of mix, fix it however you need to if, to fill in the gaps. See? All right. So now what I do, on the last one I did use a little dauber. For those who don't have a dauber, this little finger dauber like this. Oh, I didn't, wasn't flicking y'all off, sorry. Uh, my fingers are too small to fit in the first one. It falls off, so. Um, you have like this, if you have like a makeup, even one of these little wedges, you can use this. All right, so I'm gonna be using uh, Dusty, Dusty Concord, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And what I do here is I'm going to start with the smaller one because that's uh, the glue will be more dry. Let me just zoom in just a teeny bit. Let's get back. Okay. So when I use this tool, I just do this and I just stamp it. Okay. This is what I do. And then on the edges, I just do a little bit more. And then I flip it over. And so in case people see it from the side, if it's on a project, they don't just see white. They see the purple that matches. Okay, so then we have that one. We're gonna put that one to the side. And now my fingers are gonna look like Barney. Let's do the next one. You just, you just stamp it. Just do 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 do. And you can hear I'm pushing really hard. Just going along the edges, trying to get some dark to light dimension. All right. And then flip it over. Just kind of stamp it away. And yes, I'm making a big mess. It's all right. No worries. All right, and then the large one, just take it, push. Whee! This looks like it's in fast forward, right? That's, that's, that's real time, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm moving so quick. All right. So there we go. All right, then. close this up and let me just wipe my hands with some baby wipes. It didn't help, but hey. All right, so then we have the five inch, the four inch, and the three inch. Don't they look so pretty? Look at that. Let's back up just a tiny bit. They look so pretty. And there we are. Okay, guys. Um, if y'all have any questions, comments, you know, just comment down below. Just let me know. And um, the next one in the series is going to be, um, I think I want to do, um, I think I'm going to do the scallop number four on the same page on page 13. It's going to be this one. And that flower is this one. It's attached to a safety or a clothespin, but this is it. It's three dimensional. And so I think I'm going to do this one. It has some shimmery in it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. And then this one's the same. This is the same flower. I think I'm going to be doing this flower next. And then this one's the same. You can see that. So, I'm going to be doing scallop number four. So, I hope you all have a good one and have a great weekend and have a great week. Be safe out there and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my blog, craftingwithbree.blogspot.com. Bye.